there is a word from the Lord today. Hallelujah. And we're going to come from the book of Daniel, the third chapter, 16 through 23. The book of Daniel, third chapter, 16. 23. Thank you, sister, for standing for the reading of the river. We'd like to everybody stand for the reading. Kim. Mm -hmm. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that he will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue you have set up. Nebuchadnezzar was so furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that his face became distorted with rage. He commanded that the furnace be heated seven times harder than usual. Then he ordered some of the strongest men of his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. So they tied them up and threw them into the furnace, fully dressed in their pants, turbans, robes, and other garments. And because the king, in his anger, had demanded such a hot fire in the furnace, the flames killed the soldiers as they threw the three men in. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, securely tied, fell into the warring flames. Amen. Amen. I'm going to use as a title for today. We're going to talk about bold faith. Amen. Amen. Bold faith. Amen. And you know, I did, I wondered why the Lord led me to this particular passage of, of verses pertaining to the three Hebrew boys because it wasn't an intent, my own intention to go to the for God to be a Galatian, the sixth chapter. But God knows what he's doing. And I thank him for that. And then who's going through the praise service this morning? It made me realize how good of a God that we serve. Amen. 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 And we're talking about bold faith. Bold faith. And I heard Sister Asian make mention that we ask God for things but we don't believe yeah. that he would do them. But now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know it's time to take a bold step. Amen. Amen. Because God wants to use us to do that. I was, I was saying a minute ago that I've been wrestling. I wrestled all week last week. I wasn't wrestling. I was in a war. All week last week. And as I look back, I've been, a, I've been on a walk all my life. From my childhood days on until this day. Because somebody. But the war I've been in, I didn't understand to this week. See, I had to shut myself. I had to set my, shut myself away from everything. And I had to go to war. See, it come to me that Satan has been trying to steal what God has for me. Amen. And I look back on my life. He started on me when I was a child. Well, well, well. Because before I, was, I started school at six years old, my mama didn't know I was going to be able to start the school or not. Kim, I don't know if mama told you about this or not. But I stuttered so bad. I couldn't talk. See, Satan was taking that away from me because he knew how God was going to use me. See, he started when I, at my youth. But see, I remember that morning. 
My mama was watching Oral Roberts. And Oral Roberts told uh, anyone that had somebody that needed prayer for come and touch the TV. Yeah. I remember my mama grabbing me and bring me to the TV and she touched the TV. Now I don't know when I stopped stuttering, but I know I started school at, at six years old. Right. Yes. Mama took that bold step of faith. Yes. Oh, wow. yes. Yeah, she took yes. that bold step. And to that day on, Satan have a left, uh, Satan still fighting and trying to keep me for doing what God held me to do. God has a word for his people through me. And Satan is trying to stop it. But I decreed and declare on yesterday that Satan is alive. And the Satan is going, the Satan is not going to continue. Satan is defeated. I want to intend to say all of this moment, the spirit. I got to go by the spirit. I got to go by the spirit. It's time now, church, that we make a big step in faith. We, we, we got to start doing some old things in Christ. Christ looking for, look, looking for men and women to do some bold things in his life. He wants us to, to, to surrender ourselves to him where he can do some great things through us. Amen. But we got to make that step. Amen. Amen. So on yesterday, I'm tired of fighting y'all. I'm tired of fighting this thing. And I've been trying to fight myself. See, I had to turn over to the Lord. See, I had to turn over to the Lord. The Lord took me back to my childhood. And, and, and I, I, I've been fighting. And, and if I don't turn over to him, I'll be fighting from now on out. And see, what happened was yesterday, Lauren had a ball game yesterday at 8.15. After the game, a soccer game, after the game, I went home. I shut them doors. Now, man, y'all been worn all week. But I shut them doors yesterday. And I told Satan, I said, we, okay, we're going to have it. Right. We're going to have it today. Right. I did not come out of the house. I come out of the house one time. And that was yesterday afternoon. Jerome was up on my car in the block and I went right back in the wall on the battlefield. I anointed myself. I believed the blood of Christ over me. I decreed and declared that Satan is alive. That he that's in me is greater than he that's in the world. I took that bold step of faith yesterday. And I mean it because I'm tired of fighting. He, he is not going to rob me out of what God has for me. Amen. I'm not going to allow him to do it. I'm not going to allow him to do it. But see, it's, it's many times when God gives us an assignment. See, God is giving, uh, giving me an assignment, and Satan is trying to stop it. That's the same with, with, with y'all. I'm not the only one. Amen. But do you know that? Yeah. Yeah. But I, if you don't, I'm here to tell you yeah. today. Satan is trying to stop you, trying to rob you for what God has for you. Amen. He's trying to put fear in you to make you to keep you from making that bold step of faith. Amen. Amen. See, see, there, there are times when God gives us a savage. You, you don't know how God gives us something to do, and it's a whole lot bigger than us. I wonder why. I wonder why he do that. That's right, because he wants to go. Yeah. He's going to make it so big that he know we can't do it, right. but he can do it through us, yeah. that he will get the glory. Amen. So, so we, the, we got them thought making that bold step of, on behalf of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Yeah. It's, it's, all, it's always big enough. So we have to trust God to get us through. Amen. See, God and God can show us some great things that he wants to do for us. Through dreams yes. and, and, up and all that, he can show it to us. But, we, but, but we'll say about ourselves, uh, I ain't good enough for this. This must be for somebody else. I, yes. I know this can't be for me. I, where, where I came up from, I'm, I'm just a nomad. That's right. But that's who God is looking for. Yeah. 
the, 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 nobody, the, the nobodies of this world. Yeah. Everybody's somebody to God. He looked for the nobody of this world. Yeah. Yeah. That this world called it nobody. Well, he could dumbfound the one that he called himself somebody. Yeah. See? Right. That, that's what that's what he that's what he's looking for. Yeah. Now we boast about God is, is our all in all. Yeah. But let's take a look at some of the men in the Bible that boldly yeah. step out in faith. Amen. So we, we so we're gonna go through a little bit of history of a Bible. And we and we're gonna talk about a few men and a woman that that, that uh, stepped out with bold faith. We're gonna we're gonna start right here with Abraham. In Genesis 12 and 1. And that's when Abraham that's when God uh, uh, say, says to Abraham, he said, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and I will make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee. And curse them that curse thee, and and in all the all the and in all their there shall all families uh, in the earth be blessed through you. So that let us know through the faith, the the, the, the bold faith that Abraham stood, it caused us to be blessed today yeah. because we are the seed of Abraham yes. through Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Look at we, we, look at we, we, we got we got a reason to stand up and walk proud because we're blessed. Yes, yes, we better we got to understand we 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 blessed. We 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 are we, blessed with, with the power of God. He that sent us greater than he that sent the world. We are blessed. We don't have to be afraid of nothing going on in this world. We are blessed. Amen. We are blessed. We are equipped. God equipped us to do what He needs us to do in this earth. Yes. We're already equipped. He equipped us before we enter our mother's womb. We, we are equipped. So, 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 we, so we got to understand that God did that God didn't just didn't put us here, just be putting us here. Amen? Amen. 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 So Abraham departed as the Lord has spoken. Amen. Then we're gonna look at another. Which is most. It's in Exodus 3, 10 through 11. And said to Moses, Come now therefore, this is God talking to Moses, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I? That I should go unto the Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. And he said, Certainly, I will be with you. I don't care. If God sent you, he's not going to send you alone. Amen. Amen. So there's no excuse not to take that bold step in faith. If he, if he sent you, he said, I, I will be there. He said, I, I, will, I will never leave you, nor I will say you. That's, a, that's the promise of God. Amen. Right right there. Amen. So when he tells us to go out in the world and take his word out there in the world, we should go because we have his assurance that we are going to be protected. Amen. Wherever we, we go, we got to stand on, on that. We got to stand on that. We got to take, we can't, can't be afraid to take that big uh, uh, step of faith. That bold faith. Do that bold state of faith. And our third, we're going to talk about Noah. Noah. That's in Genesis 6, 11 through 14. And it says, The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all the flesh had corrupt, corrupted his way upon the earth. Verse 13 says, And God said unto Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with, with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them which or uh, destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gold. Now here God is giving him instruction yeah. to make an ark of gold. 
that floats. He said, I'm going to send a flood down on the land. Yeah. Through rain. Yeah. Now, you folks didn't know what rain was. It had never rained before. Yeah. <laughs> and they, did, they didn't know. But, but Noah took the, 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 the big step of faith. He built this boat. He preached for something like 120 years to those the violent people said, it's going to rain, but nobody believed it. They laughed at it. They scoffed at, 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 at it. They picked at it while he was building this boat. For what? What you building a boat for? And he kept telling them, it's going to rain. But, but he in faith in God and what God told him, he moved and he built that boat. And when the rain came, and he shut the door. Those were trying to get in. It was too late. We we got to. We, I mean, we, we, he, he took a, a, a big step in, in, in faith. I mean, he, he, even his children are probably looking at him. Yeah. Then we go to school. And they they picking at us. They laughing at us. You say that daddy needs to be in Western State. Yeah. And I hear I hear never rain and never, never rain and hear you and I hear building a boat. Yeah. Somebody's going to flood. And people went on like that. And God gave people a, 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 a chance. For, he preached for 120 years. Yeah. But see, when we closed the door, oh, it was too late. Yeah. Nobody could get in. Nobody could get in. But he took that. He, 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 that that's what you call bold faith. I was second, I mean our fourth one, and this is one I like real good. We're going to talk about a 17 year old kid by the name of David. Yes. 17 years old. When his daddy, little shepherd boy, and his daddy told him one morning to come on out of there and I want you to go up there to the battlefield and see how your brother's doing on the battlefield. See, uh, 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 the brother was, was in Saul's arm. And they, and they were fighting a battle. And, and well, they were, yeah, they, I mean, they, no, they wasn't fighting no battle, but they, they would need to be fighting. But, but, but they were afraid of this big giant called Goliath. Yes. So David obeyed him. And he went on up and he took some food up to the brothers and stuff. Now, how you doing? And, and he questioned them. He said, now, I mean, what's going on here? See, the proposition was, Goliath made the proposition and said, I'm going to champion for the Philistines. So are you seeing your champion out here? We'll fight it out. And then this will end this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. See? But, but the, the army of God had cowered down. They couldn't find no matter. The army of God, y'all heard what I said. Yeah. The army of God refused to take that, 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 that step of faith. Refused to do it, to go up against this, uh, uh, against this giant. They looked at this giant. This giant was nine foot tall. And his armor, I mean, I mean, his armor was so thick and he was well protected. And to man to see him, it was impossible to kill him. Yeah. Natural man with a natural eye, it was impossible to kill, kill this man. But they, this little 17 year old shepherd boy, he, go, he, he, he goes up and, and he, he asks the question who is this uncircumcised Philistine that is defying the army of God see he had enough faith in God through shepherding that he knew don't care how big this giant was he knew that God could take him down it wasn't him but he, he gonna let God use him to take that 17 years old. Ne ne never fought in a battle in his life. Never been trained for battle. But in all of, all of God's army had been trained for battle and stuff like that. They were afraid to move. They were, they were afraid to take the big step of faith. You know? And, 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 and when, when, when they're under the battle of, of God's army, that don't even that don't even, even, even sound right. But look here. He said, and David spoke to the men that stood by him, saying, what shall be done to the man that, that killed this Philistine and taken away the reproach from uh, uh, Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine 
that he should defy the armies of the living God. And Elahab, Ella, his eldest brother, heard when he uh, spake unto the men, and Elahab angered was kindled against David, and he said, Why cometh thou down here? And with whom hast thou left these two sheep in the wilderness? And his, his brother now, he's going to get mad at David. Will come up here and ask a question. But there he is, and the rest of them cowered under and won't make a move toward uh, doing it. Won't trust God enough. See, that's the problem. Not trusting God enough to go and, and, and take care of the giant and get this giant on out of the way. See, a lot of times, the situations we face in life are giants to us. Yeah. And we're scared to face them. See, see, the, the, the Bible tells us when, when there was time to go to war, when, when David was time for David to go to war, David, David didn't run from the problem. He ran toward the, the, the giant. Because he had enough faith and confidence that God was going to take care of the situation anyway. In other words, the situation already take care of. Only thing we had to do is make that bold step. Make the bold. That bold, the bold step of faith. That's, yeah. all, that's the only thing he had to do. Yeah. And then his elder brother was saying, that he is jealous of, of it, mad at it, and talking about who, who, who do you leave in charge of those few sheep in the wilderness? And then said, verse 31 said, and when words were heard with David's faith, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. They went and told Saul what, what, what David had said. Yeah. The question David was asking. So Saul sent for him. And, and Saul had some questions. It said, and David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail. Now this was 17 year old talking bold. Yeah. Bold faith. He, he, he was talking bold. This, this is telling the king. He said, let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. 17 years old now. And Saul said to David, thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him. For thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lion out of the flock. And I went, and, and I went after him, and smote at him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. He said, thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. Yeah. And this uncircumcised Philistine defied the armies of the living God. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the, out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he would deliver me out of the hands of this Philistine. Amen. And see, David was talking stuff too. David told the Philistine giant that Goliath said, this day, I'm going to have your head. Yeah. This day, not tomorrow, that day, I'm going to have your head. And then I'm going to feed your feed your body to the birds of the fowls of the air. See, he, he, he had been a brother because he was talking stuff. But, but, for, for, for he done. but having confidence, the confidence that he had in God. See, we got to, we got to have that same confidence yeah, yeah. in God so we can get some things done here on earth. Yeah, and some yeah. giants out there need to be destroyed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got to have that confidence, that boldness to go out there amongst it and get this, get this thing, get this stuff done, get this work done. Amen. Amen. And said, and, and, and I, won't, I won't talk about a, a nun because I'll all talk about me. Let me throw a lady in here right quick. Well, let me talk about this day with the issue of blood. Yeah. For 12 years. 12 years. Now, gone 12 years. Clean the then I went to all the doctors that she knows to go to and spend all her money and, and stuff like that. So finally, what, what, one day heard about Jesus in time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now listen, listen. A woman that was bleeding like she was bleeding is not what he, back in those days when he was supposed to get out in public. Mm -hmm. They was considered unclean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they weren't supposed to be in a, 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 a crowd. A, a, Crowd like this, a uh, 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 day when he's supposed to be next, but cause they, they, then when, when I, after the the bleed was over with, they had to go through a, a ceremonial ritual of yeah. cleansing. Yeah. They had to go through that, yeah. so that when he was supposed to be out there, but this woman took the bold step of faith. Amen. She took the step with a boldness. 
She, she went out there. She heard Jesus in time. She said, well, if I can, I ain't got to interrupt him. I ain't got to stop what he's doing. But if I can just touch the hem yeah. of his garment, yeah. and I'll be made whole. Yeah. And so she went through the crowd, yeah. making her way through the crowd. And she, and she touched the hem of his garment. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he said, the bleeding stopped right then. And Jesus looked around and said, who touched me? <laughs> who touched me? And then Peter, with his big mouth, he come hollering, well, Lord, you see here, all this crowd around you. So you know somebody that, no, the, 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 the uh, virtue have left my body. Power have left my body. And then he recognized who it, who it touched. And, and he said, he said, Dawn, by your faith you are made whole. Yeah, exactly. But she had to take that bold, take that step of faith yeah. in order for that to happen. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we are let COVID run wild yeah. Yeah. in this land. And we won't need to, uh, instead of we taking the bold step and running cold out of the land, we are running from it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 well, we won't take the church. I ain't talking about, I'm just talking about the church in general. Yeah. I'm talking about the church in general. The church will, the church will be more powerful than any COVID yeah. through Christ Jesus. Yeah. We 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 supposed to be more, more, more powerful than than, than, than than any of than any of that. So that so that brings us to the our, our lesson today. The three Hebrew boys. They took a they took a bold step of faith. Right. Said, said, now now let, let, let me bring you up bring you up the part. King never should never build a a, 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 a tower. Not a tower, but a, a giant statue, yeah, giant statue. Something like nine foot tall and nine foot wide. And what he built this statue for, he wanted everybody to bow down and worship this statue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he called all his governors and all his sheriffs and all the, the ministries and all the people with power that he had given power to come into Babylon and we, we will have a great celebration. Yeah. We, we gonna bow down to this great a, a God, the dead God that I, I, I made, and, 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 and you know, and, and to celebrate, you know, and the, the decree went out. Now, if anybody refused to bow down to this this, this statue, uh, uh, I got the fire furnace ready. Yeah. They'll be casted in the fire uh, uh, fire furnace within the hour. Yeah. So immediately they're gonna be cast. They ain't gonna be no trial or nothing like they're gonna be thrown in the fire furnace. And they, you, you you see how the but the law and, and, and that decree was a law in that land. So that let us know that we've been talking. Well, we, we got to uh, 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 honor the law of the land. We got to obey the law of the land. Yeah. No, we don't. If that, if that law is not right and it's not godly, you ain't got to honor that. Yeah. You don't have to do it. Right, right. Now, he, 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 he won't throw everybody in the front. See, if, if, if here, even here in America, you go, you go against the rules and the regulation of the laws around here. Uh, 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 they're gonna try to throw you in a furnace, and I might not be just a, a furnace furnace, but they might do something to humiliate you, yeah, yeah, expose you know, and maybe even kill you, yeah, you know, because because they, they, so they, as I speak, there's some people trying to uh, pass a law to, 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 to hold certain one back to not being able to vote. Yeah. As I speak. But is it right? No, I don't say for you. No, it's not right. It's not right. Was, was, was it right for us to let uh, 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 take prayer out of school? No. But it's a law? But is it right? No, no, it, it, no. It, 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 I mean, the, the, those, those are things that, 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 that you know, they, they, were, uh, they, they were put on, and we just sit back and let it happen. Without taking that step of bold. That's, right. That's some things in life that God wants to do for if we just make that step. Yeah. If, 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 we just, we, if we just follow the Spirit. So they had everybody in time come to make for this great celebration, to celebrate the, 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 this great statue that King Nelson never had made. Say, so now whenever you hear all the music and all the different instruments, Play like that, everybody bow down. Everybody, everybody bow down. So when, when, when that happened, 
when all the, when the music stuff playing like that, everybody bowed down besides three young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So you know somebody gonna tell you. So that was some went, went, went to the king and said, King, you remember you made the decree that, that, that whenever you, you know, music and, and stain and, and, and a statue, you, you, you bow down and stuff? He said, yeah. He said, we got the three Hebrew boys that refused to bow down. Yeah. And see, they were jealous of the, 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 the Hebrew boys anyway, simply because a, a, a God done, done, uh, 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 exalted them in, in a land that they were in, the end, that they had been bought to in slavery. And God had exalted them yes, had. there in that land. So, the, so they, they were jealous anyway. So uh, uh, King never told them, bring them to them. And he bought them too. Yep. And when he bought them too, he said, look here, Shep, Rack, me, Shep, and going to give you one more chance. He said, now whenever this uh, uh, mutilist thing play, y'all go and bow down, we'll yep. clean this up, and we'll go and buy our bid. I don't worry about it no more. So they, they said, now I'm going to give you a chance. Y'all want to think about it? Y'all want to go have a conference on it? Yep. Uh, or whatever, y'all want to th <laughs> think about it? Go, go, go right ahead. Go right ahead. But see, but see, this was this was that uh, 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 th their answer right here, beginning with the 16th verse of, of, of uh, this lesson. He said, Shadrach, uh, Shadrach, and Meshach and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. In other words, no, we ain't got to go in no conference right. like this. We ain't got to think about it right. no more. Why? Let's see what see what what it says. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God, now listen to this, the God we serve is able to deliver us yes, from it, and he will deliver us from the master's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know that, you're, that you know your master, that we will not serve uh, your God or worship the image of the goal, of, of goal you have set up. See, in other words, what they're, what they're saying is, God, his God would, would deliver him from his hand. Yes, now, let's look at it like this. Even if they get thrown in the fire furnace, even if they die, he still, they are still delivered from his hand. Because yeah. he's in God's hand. He can do good. He can go either way he wants to. Yes. He can bring them to him. Or, or, he, or he, can, uh, he, he, he can do his thing uh, in, in, in the furnace, just like he did. And it goes on to say, then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And his attitude toward them changed. And he ordered the furnace heated up seven times hotter than usual and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. So when so these men wearing their robes, trousers, turbans, and other clothes were bound and thrown into the blazing furnace, the king's uh, command was so urgent that the furnace was so hot that the flames of the of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, firmly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. Put them in there. To check them out. Now who got killed? The soldiers, the one that the one that threw him in there. Mm -hmm. And see, he will never leave us. This he will never leave That's us, right. nor he would he forsake That's us. Right. Only if we have the confidence enough to trust That's him. Right. That's right. We got we got to learn how to trust God. Right. And what, what, what we do? This thing uh, uh, now see he uh, uh never doing something doing something small, he's gonna find himself more time hotter than, than it did to be. And see this wasn't no regular uh, uh, a house of healing like you see in the story. This was a huge furnace that, that might uh, uh, supply heat for the whole kingdom. Yeah. It was big enough for them to walk around in. <laughs> right. You know, because, because, because the word says that, is that then, uh, 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 then King Nebuchadnezzar never leaped to his feet with a, in amazement as his advisor. Weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? And they were pride, pride, certainly your master. But see, he is seeing somebody else. Yeah. 
And, and see, the only only fire, uh, the only thing that the fire burned while they was in there was the ropes that they had them by. That's the only thing that the fire burned. The fire burned, let me see that. I'm going to show you that. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and the four looked like the Son of God. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he said, never, never, then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out and come here. See, if we allow God to use us, and he do miraculous things through us, see, the world will, 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 will bow down to to our God. And that that's the whole purpose of this whole thing. God said, I it's not in my desire to know that. That's right. That's right. So 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 we we supposed to be the one out there in the world. Yep. Let God perform through us yep. where, where the world can see it and whether we draw, draw the world unto God. Not to us, yep. but to, but we draw unto God. Amen. Amen. But we were we, but we refuse to take that we refuse to take that step of faith. God wants to use us, people. Yes, sir. God yes, wants to use sir. us. And yesterday, when I was in that house, I anointed myself with oil. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life. And I told Satan, this is it. For 70 years, you have tortured me. And this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Yeah. I'm surrendered to the true and the living God. Yes. And whatever he has for me. Yes, yes, yes. Here I am. Yeah. For him performing through me. <laughs> and, the, and, and I'm standing here bolded and saying, yes. Satan, ain't nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Not one thing that you can do about it. Because I'm going to praise him. Yeah. I'm going to give him the glory. Yeah. And, I, and, and everything he asked me to do to my ability, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Because I'm not going to let uh, uh, Satan cheat me out, out of my inheritance. Yeah. And, I, and I'm trying to persuade y'all, don't let Satan cheat you out of your inheritance. Yeah. 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 God has something for us, great yeah. things for us all. Yeah. It's not just me. Yeah. Uh, 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 some, some of y'all be going through some things too. Yeah. And don't realize what it is. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you what. Just be prayerful. And what the Holy Spirit tells you to do. Take that bold yeah. step of faith. Yeah. Yeah. Step out there. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Again. He that sent you is greater than he that sent the world. Yeah. Right. Right. So, so, so if the Holy Spirit is in you. Mm -hmm. then, then, then you can walk bold out there, out there in the world. Yeah. You don't have to hold your head down. You don't have to, you, you, you don't have to be conformed to this world. Yeah. But you can be, uh, be be transformed by the renewing of your mind, yeah, yeah. changing your mind, repent of what you're doing. Amen. 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 So, 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 we got to learn how to stand up yeah. against Satan. Yeah. Satan had his way too long. Yeah. Way too long. Yeah. You don't had his way with the church. Yeah. Way too long. Way too long. And it's it, that, that, it, 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 it's time to step out with bold faith. Yeah. Amen. 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 God's word for God's people.